Good morning. I said it. I'm back. Hey, what are you guys doing back east? Because uh, I heard this rumor that you all went outside at the same time and you took a deep breath and you're facing west and you all blew hard. Hmm. And now, what's happening? The wind is blowing a really cold, cold weather system in here. It's going to last for quite a few days. Now, did you really? <laughs> I don't know. The weathermen never get it right anyway, so I might as well blame anything. <laughs> so I just finished watering the orchids, and thanks for joining me. Um, I do have fun doing this. I don't know why. I can almost see some of you when I'm <laughs> visiting. So, uh, I said I'd be back to do the new orchid because it was just drop potted yesterday. So we're going to do that. But before I forget, which I tend to forget things a little bit, you know. <laughs> anyway, I tend to forget things. But on my, um, it's called my channel. But when you when you click for my channel, there's a community section. And I'm going to be posting a lot of close-up pictures of orchids in pots that we made or uh, redid a lamp or something. And I thought today when I was watering, I didn't have enough to do. <laughs> I got the camera out and I took some pictures. And I'm glad I did because it's also good for me. It's a good record to see what happened last year when we run into another winter. So I've done that and I'm going to be posting a whole bunch. So if you, if you are interested in a close-up of a pot or an orchid, uh, I've tried to do a good job. I haven't done it yet. Not sure if it'll be before or after this video because uh, my daughter Rosemary, our daughter Rosemary, <laughs> in Vernon today there which is about maybe three quarters drive uh, hour drive from here they're having a, um, a winter uh, parade festival and she's a member of the um, oh dear um, what do you call it well they're the people that um, <laughs> Anyway, medieval, medieval, medieval group, and they get dressed up, so they're all getting dressed up for the parade today, and it's going to be cold in that wind, so we got to go let the dog out. She's got a dog, a big one. Maggie can't come. Maggie doesn't like police dogs. She puts up with it, but, and Rosemary's dog is so friendly. It loves little dogs, but Maggie, nope, she doesn't like both police dogs <laughs> she, and she sees them on the TV she starts barking and growling and running up to the floor under the TV so anyway we'll be going after the after lunch to do that it's going to be a busy day so I better quit gabbing and get on with this so I haven't done anything with this since um, yesterday and I'm not trying to do this close-up thing it's back to the bringing it to you because I'm not very good with that. So we're just going to take this out of the pot. And I have my I have my bark. It's been soaking since I saw it yesterday. I put a little lid on it because I don't know if you found out when you're soaking your bark it wants to float. And I want to make sure it was all in the water. So uh, I've tried all kinds of things to live. I don't know why I never thought of it before because it works real good. Oh, I need a drink of water. It's after coffee, I've been busy. Oh. That's a lemon from our greenhouse. There's still lots out there. Okay, let's go do it, do it, do it. Okay, we'll get a close up. Now, this actually is quite a healthy orchid, but there's some kind of neat colorations. It's headed up, so I, I didn't get watered when the rest of them did today. So, I think you can almost see. I'll come closer, I promise. <laughs> so, um, we'll take it out. 
A roof just fell off. Can you believe that? Huh. Oh yeah, a root just fell off, but as you can see, that's where it was joined. And and it was green down here. It's too bad that it fell off. Hmm. Be careful, Carolyn. I don't know. Just picked it up now. Okay. Okay, this is the pot I'm going to use. And it's about the same size as the pot it was in. Sometimes I like to go bigger, but I, I uh, don't have a bigger pot. But Jack's going to try and drill holes in the one that was outside the decorative pot. It had a, it was a different type than normal. I think it was porcelain, but it's quite thin. So he's going to try it because I kind of liked it. So as you know, I always leave the wire things in. Um, some people take them out. It doesn't really matter, but I find I can hold better. So we're just going to take all this out of here. And I'm always more concerned about that center spot, as you know. But you know, this one's not as bad as some I've seen. And if you're going to get an orchid, it, say you're planning on getting one. And the only way, place you can get them is grocery stores like here. And there's not even many of them. So um, find out when they're ordering. Say, excuse me, but can you order me an orchid and phone when it comes in on the day you, so I can get it right away? <laughs> I'm sure they'll, if they're going to order it anyway, you know, customer service, let you know when, then you know it's not sitting there because with this cold breeze and all these stores have their, their flowers right near the door where the breezes come in. Um, so, you know, Safeway, when we had a Safeway, theirs used to be at, way at the back of the store where you came in. The farthest door from that was where, and theirs were, they looked after them. I kind of miss Safeway. Their prices were sometimes more expensive, but, but really, um, I don't know. I guess they were here for so many years, and you get used to the people and, and, uh, and their product, their orchids. <laughs> We never get anything but phalaenopsis here. So um, I have to look up on Cidiums. I, uh, I'm, I might be a little bit of an orchid specialist. There's a lot of you are out there. And uh, live and learn for your own area. But uh, I'm going to look into, oh, this one looks really quite nice. But as you know, what's going to happen? What's going to happen is that... Um, these roots, maybe not all of them, these ones near the surface, they've been near the surface. Their medium's not changing much because they were up near the surface and only on the moss slightly. But these ones here will probably lose most of them when you change medium. And I'm not, it's not, and I like to make sure of that, it's not just um, bark to moss. If you were changing uh, moss to bark, bark to moss, if you were changing any medium completely different, um, that can happen. Now I, <laughs> it's just been my preference, uh, even my daughter has a lot of orchids, you know, and, and hers are, uh, she had a move and now they're finally starting to come spike, so one day we'll go over and look at them. But she did use a bit of moss as a crutch in them, and that's a good idea if you're really dry. And yes, I could have done that with my big one, but I'm one of these people who hate to them. Really, most of them do pretty good most of the time. But my big old red one is old. It did get repotted again. Um, so, and when they're in, in uh, flower, they need more energy and they need probably a little more water. So these roots are really good. And you can see, I'm going to kind of tilt it on its side. And way inside, you can have a good look. There's a few black spots on the roots. I don't worry about them. And a few mushy spots. No, no mushy spots, Carolyn. No, there isn't any. <laughs> Mama will want to watch this video because she said, um, let me know how that orchid is. 
because we picked it out. Now there's one leaf down here. It started to see if I can see that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's, it's pretty okay. Um, I won't be sad when it gets ready to fall off, but it's dry, and I'll make sure I have it high enough in the pot that the, the aerial roots on the top are still up there. And uh, we got some nice green ones. So we'll keep our eye on this one. We've had a close look. I'm going to give it a quick rinse. There, you saw it, but it's just a quick rinse. You know, thank goodness for running water. Holy. And especially here, we're lucky because we have this huge big lake and we have lots of water. Cold water right now. <laughs> so I'm just cleaning this up, making sure I got all the moss because I have found even a tiny little bit of moss um, sitting on a root and, and it stays wet much longer than the bark. There we go. I don't like it anymore. So I did see something here. So we got one little black leaf. There's a piece of moss. Okay. Okay. I don't feel anything soft. That's what I don't like. So this is in very good shape. And I can't complain about it. So we're going to get that potted right now. There's the moss. Bring this over here. Can everybody see? <laughs> what was I going to say? I was going to say something. Well, I'm sure it was important anyway. <laughs> Probably got way more bark here than I'll have to dry it off. But there is always that little hole in the center. So what I do is I like to leave those nice green ones that are sticking up and were on the top of the pot. They were kind of part air, part under. I'm leaving them as much up as possible. And I'm going to plant it high in the pot too. Hey, anybody remember what I was going to say? <laughs> no, I'm not doing one of those live things. It isn't happening. <laughs> For one thing, I have enough trouble with it. My computer's old, and when I even when I go to do the video and I go to play it back, it kind of doesn't keep up with everything. So, you know, one day. <laughs> so I'm gonna just get as much in here as I can with my fingers. I'm just gonna. What I should do is, even though this is all mossy. Oh yeah, I know what I was going to say. Thank goodness for running water. I remember the days, I'll talk and work. I remember the days we had a 40 acre farm here. And uh, Rosemary was about 10. She's 50 now. <laughs> Sorry, Rosemary. <laughs> and uh, she was about 10. And, and uh, <laughs> there was this old man that lives next door, Henry. He was such a good friend of mine. You know, you can have good friends with people that are a lot older and really enjoy it. And he, he had been single all his life. But uh, anyway, on a farm, uh -oh. on a farm you run into all kinds of problems. And it was an old, old house. And uh, what happened was, it, it was a cold winter like this, and uh, all our water froze. I couldn't, uh, couldn't water the cows, couldn't water the horses, chickens, nothing. Couldn't water them. I had pigs. Shoveled all that. Got my exercise. But anyway, um, we love playing with baby pigs. They're so cute. And they're, they're very smart and fun. But anyway, <laughs> we used to steal them from the mum. But anyway, our water froze. We had no water anywhere. And here comes my neighbor with this great big aluminum tub. And, and it was winter, of course, and there's snow out there. And he says, here you go. If you put that, I had an old wood stove, put it on the wood stove and put a bunch of snow in it, and then you can all have a bath. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, honey. It, it's 
funny now, but holy smokes, it's not good. So thank goodness for running water. Yeah. And when the mummy pigs, when they had babies, we used to, Rolls Ray and I, we'd run out there and we'd steal the little pigs and take them out in the sun. <laughs> oh dear. And the first time we had baby pigs, I had no idea what to do. I was counting on Henry. He was the pig expert. But it just so happened he had gone away. And the mummy pig was having baby pigs. And so here Rosemary and I are sitting in the pig pen with this huge mother pig. And all these baby pigs are coming. And I have a book open. And I'm, I'm reading. <laughs> oh, you got to cut the... The little uh, teeth, and you got so here we are with the pair of nail clippers cutting some little teeth, and and trying to do everything this book said to all those baby pigs as they all came out and the mothers there. Of course, we get to the end of the book, all the pigs are out, and what happens? It says, "Be careful because mother pigs can be very, very dangerous when their babies are." <laughs> Anyway, um, I'll finish this before I talk your heads off. I'm going to be uh, just pushing very, I'm going to spend quite a bit of time at it, and I'm going to just use my finger, and I'm just going to push as much bark down into there as possible. So, um, thanks for joining me. I'll get those pictures up as soon as I can, and uh, I have fun. Some of you guys have such a sense of humor. <laughs> Thanks for the comments and see you next time.